Archpriest Sergei Baranov. Burnout in Spiritual Life, June 14th, 2020. Tonight, I would like to say a few words about burnout. There is such a notion in the world as emotional burnout. Nowadays, people very often speak of burnout, which is common with the clergy, monks, and nuns, who having good intentions sometimes come up against a brick wall. The intentions are good, but the results are bad. When does a human burn out? Imagine a fire burning. It spreads its flames outwards. Its light and energy enlighten and warm the surroundings until its embers burn out, leave nothing but ashes. The same thing happens to us if we warm and enlighten everyone around us. This seems to be good, blessed by God and God-willed intentions. But they may result in something negative. In fact, I have observed this in good priests and partially experienced it myself. When you live an outward life, you burn out and leave ashes behind. I agree. You did your best. You warmed and enlightened someone. But inside of you are ashes and emptiness. Spiritual life is supposed to have outward feats and acts. But the main work should take place inwardly. Inward action helps to compose yourself. It mobilizes and enriches you. Outward action wastes you. And how should we find that golden mean where we won't be indifferent to people and the environment, and yet at the same time, we won't burn out and be left empty? We need to feel the harmony, the balance between the outward and the inward. So when giving something out, you should gain something in through prayer. Prayer collects treasure in your heart, puts you together, strengthens you, and gives you energy while outward feats only waste you. The Holy Fathers found the golden mean, which was a marvelous state, allowing them to accumulate and share treasure. Henceforth, in giving it away, they gained it back. Holy Father Seraphim of Sarov said about this, My joy, I pray, acquire the spirit of peace, and then a thousand souls around you will be saved. Our Lord said such sad things to the Pharisees in the Holy Gospel. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you cross sea and land to make a single convert, and you make the new convert twice as much a child of hell as yourselves. It happened so as they had nothing to give due to their own hollowness. In addition, very often God compares them to whitewashed tombs, clean on the outside and foul-smelling from the inside. That was their main error. Why do I raise this question? I would like to get this message across to our clerics who work a lot. This issue of clerical burnout is discussed even at the level of patriarchal meetings and conferences. A human runs to extremes. Some people live for themselves, and this is bad. Some people live for the whole world, which is also bad, as the Holy Spirit didn't enlighten them to do it right. He flew and burnt at first, but then slowed down, began to stumble and everything resulted in either depression or great overstrain. Of course, we should work and give for the world, as it is mentioned in the Holy Scripture. It is more blessed to give than to receive. However, we should learn how to give and have something to give. After all, what can you give when you are empty yourself? The remnants of your strength? That won't do any good for anyone. In the end, you will smash to pieces like a pot. And for that reason, first of all, our spiritual life should take place inside of us with the help of the Holy Spirit, fulfilling us with His grace. And when you are full, you are able to give a part of it. While being hollow, you have nothing to give except your emotions and good intentions. After all, these are only emotions, which will make you burn out, break down, and will end up badly. So the fire burns, warms, enlightens, and burns out and leaves ashes only. Prayer is an inward essence. The energy goes inside of the human heart, and then it accumulates and multiplies there.